I don't think anyone's ever walked into a Tarantino film and not been surprised, ever. Mm. And they're definitely going to get that with this film. It's not like anything else. It's not a remake, it's not a prequel, sequel. It's its its own thing entirely, but not only is it entirely original, it is so unique in only, a way that only Tarantino can pull off. In every way, the way you s just subvert, I guess, our expectations, but exceed them at the same time. I, people are going to be delighted at the theatre. And I see this as a confluence of all your work to date, in, in, in many ways. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could talk about that. Well, no, there is, no, there is a thing where, you know, I have a, have a, um, a first AD named uh, Bill Clark that have, uh, has been with me since uh, um, Jackie Brown. He came to the house to read the script and uh, uh, was really kind of curious what he was going to think about it. And he went out by my pool like these guys did and read it. And he came back in and he goes, it's all of them. He goes like, this is, these are all, there's a, there's a bit of all your movies rolled into one, to one degree or another in this, in this script. And uh, um, I do kind of think there's a little bit of a, a um, uh, I look at this as my ninth movie, but then I think you can also look at it to some degree as like, okay, uh, you can also look at it when it comes to a director's career where, where their, their films are focused, they didn't do a job, uh, then maybe all the movies are one movie. <laughs> They're all connected like boxcars on a train. And if that's the case, I think this is the climax. This seems like the climax of all those, uh, those movies together. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll do another movie, but that might be more of an, more epilogue-y, right? <laughs> this seems like the, 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 the big show-stopping climax. <laughs> nice, really nice. Not only is he forensic in sort of picking up, uh, you know, showing an audience a, a specific time period and a certain culture mixed with fairy tale, mixed with sort of this, uh, I, I, I don't know how to describe it, but this sort of tableau of memory that he has. All these things sort of fit in a very unique way that you don't see in, in, in modern filmmaking. And that's why it's so incredibly exciting to work on his movies because there's this unexpected nature every day you're on set you don't know what exactly is going to happen and everyone feels incredibly energized and and excited to be there because there's the great unknown but we we had the benefit uh with these characters of getting this incredibly rich backstory we had an entire history together that he wrote for us so even though it's a sort of day in the life of these two sort of outcasts of Hollywood that are trying to fit their way into a changing culture and a changing industry, there was an immediate familiarity with who these people were because we knew so much about our past and we, we, it was so easy to fit in those shoes. I, yeah, and I was surprised how loose you are on the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, because the scenes are so specific and so well orchestrated, you would think they, they have to be planned out. I would think they'd have to be planned out to, the, to every, to, to the end. And yet, still when we get there on the day, there's a total looseness and freedom, like a trust in what you're going to capture that day within the confines of the... Well, you know, I, the, the, that actually kind of is one of the benefits of, of, you know, having a career that spans more than 20 years, is at a certain point, you know, uh, 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 you had your big set pieces and they probably have to be right on, you know, but other than that, it's like, uh, um, yeah, I don't think about shot lists or anything until I get to the set that day. Was Reservoir that same way? Or did you come out? Uh, well, eventually it was. First, because it was, wow, this is the first time I'm ever going to do a movie. So I had to have everything shot list just so everyone would have trust in me. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was, about, it was a five-week shoot. <clears throat> Somewhere mid-third week, I started leaving my shot list at home. I started feeling comfortable enough now to just uh, just to, to rehearse the scene uh, rehearse the scene and figure out the shots from that point on and from that point on that's always kind of how I do it I mean it, when you see us handing around shot lists and stuff I wrote them that morning mm. you know normally it's a situation where it's like uh, if, we, if we run through a, a dialogue scene before I send you guys to the chair all right so we uh, we do it we do it we do it and like, okay go to the chair and then I sit down at a table and I lay out lay out the shots Okay, give it to Bill. Okay, this is what we're doing today. <laughs> I have to admit something. What? I have one of those. Oh! You wrote, uh, you you wrote something. You, you gave me a DVD of an episode yeah. of something to watch, and uh -huh. you'd written on the back of that. Yeah. And then I was pulling out the DVD the other day, and I pulled out and I opened it up, and I was like, oh, my God, it's the shot.
call this for the day that we shot. <laughs> and I was like, if I tell him, will he ask for it back? No, can of I course not. No, I throw them away. You can feel free to have them. I have so, a few more you, left over. I'll give right. them to you. You know, <laughs> just, just so everyone stands, understands, a shot list would be like, okay, we have this scene, and might plan ahead to get one from the back to see the whole environment and then to get a two shot here of Leo and I and then over my shoulder to get Leo's close up and then to get the gang and that would be a insert shot Insert of the list. horse head, insert of the uh, ashtray. Right, right. <laughs> and, but on on the day it's actually m much looser like he, like he is finding, you know, he's finding it as he goes. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. more instinctual than, yeah. than, than you would think watching mm -hmm your films. We have a little mantra that me and the crew have been doing for a, a long time where it's uh, 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 where we say, okay, we've got it, but we're going to do one more. And why are we going to do one more? And then the whole crew screams out, because we love making movies. <laughs> and we do. It's a, it's mm. a, we, we're, we're, we're living a great life that we're just absolutely blessed yeah. uh, 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 to live it. And by the way, everyone does it with no embarrassment. I, like, no, everyone's you scream in. it at the top of your lungs. Everyone's in. You know, honestly, on, on set, it, it's kind of like this, uh, it's, it's like, uh, it's like a, I don't know, it's like an independent sort of student film yet at a, an incredibly high budget yeah, with yeah, a lot yeah. of pressure. <laughs> yeah. Like there's, there's endless possibilities. Uh, Although you sort of stick to the Bible of the Tarantino screenplay, you also he's also leaves these openings for anything to sort of happen. And yeah, and it's the moments where it's like they enter the party, and then you might spend all <laughs> yeah. night doing this shot where there's a crane and there's this and there's <laughs> there's girls dancing. It's choreographed. It's like it just. It's those small moments which. That was an in particularly magical that, night. I couldn't I even get so to bed good. that I night. I, I was, was just so hope. jazzed after <laughs> the paper. It was so, so fun. And then you stop every hundred rolls of film and celebrate and have a drink and have a little party and just. It just. No one else does that. You well, can't well, do what, that. One of the things Brad said earlier today that's, that I couldn't agree with more is the idea that. Uh, um, this is our lives. So as, as, as important it is, as it is that we try to do movies that we care about and we, we put all our hope into and, and, and hopefully we have good results at the end, as important is the experience of making the movie because that, this is our lives. So if we're going to dedicate months and in, in some cases years to something, then we owe it to ourselves to enjoy it. We owe ourselves to, to appreciate it, to really have a great time. Everybody, everybody on the set, this is their life. So let's, let's live it.